Are antibiotics a good treatment for IBS or are they making your irritable bowel syndrome worse? In order to understand what antibiotics do to your gut and your IBS symptoms, you need to understand what IBS is and the causes of IBS. IBS, it starts with a traumatic event, which puts your gut into overdrive. When the conflict is active, somebody might have constipation or they might be very bloated. And during that time, there's actually bacteria and fungi growing behind the scenes in your gut, but they aren't active and producing a lot of symptoms. There are lots of people who will get a SIBO test and they'll have high SIBO numbers, but they won't have symptoms. When the conflict gets resolved, the gut gets taken out of overdrive. There's a lot of complicated things that go on, but that's when the symptoms start like diarrhea and gut pain. And that's because the bacteria and fungi are actually um, doing things to your gut tissue, like removing gut tissue, repairing gut tissue. And that's when you get a lot of your symptoms. Now, antibiotics can kill those bacteria and fungi and lessen those symptoms, but it will never cure your IBS. You know, if somebody has really bad IBS, it's because the conflict is off and on, off and on, you know, putting your IBS symptoms off and on, off and on. Most people, you know, they resolve that conflict and it stays resolved. But, you know, while they're having symptoms, they took the antibiotics and it, and it appears to be a good treatment because it's like, oh, I took the antibiotics and, you know, my IBS symptoms went away. But in reality, you resolve that conflict and your, your gut is not going in and out of overdrive anymore. So there is a time to use antibiotics, but most people are overtaking antibiotics, thinking it's going to fix their IBS symptoms, um, where a better treatment for IBS is addressing that conflict that put your gut into overdrive in the first place.